grudge match. Yeah, well, I know they probably will crash the car. At any rate, I'd like to welcome uh, three members of XTC to KROQ. Gentlemen, please introduce yourself to the audience. Left to right, we are. I'm Dave Gregory. Dave, uh, that, oh, yeah. yeah. What about that mic for his, a vocal? His microphone's gone off the... Uh... Has it? No, 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 not necessarily. He needs it for his Can guitar like that, but he can yeah. speak into that okay, one. I'll lift it up when I speak. All right, then. There you go. Hey, Look, folks. he's got his speaking head on now. <laughs> All right. Let's go it again. Okay. We have... I'm Dave Gregory, and to my left is... Uh, to his left, but immediately to the right of Colin Moulding, is Andy Partridge. Well, you've said it, haven't you? I've got <laughs> I've spoiled it there, really. <laughs> yes. <laughs> go on, I've just been praying. I am... Colin Moulding. He is. Only. Colin Moulding. Adore him. Yes, absolutely. Well, <laughs> incidentally, we do uh, ab adore you guys, and I can't tell you how um, really thrilled we are to have you come up here and do this. To sit across the board from three beautiful acoustic guitars. Or to guitars sit across the board, actually. Yeah, yes, would be a, oh, darling, <laughs> a good darling, bit of fun. And boy, are my legs tired, you know. <laughs> At any rate, uh, you're going to play a song for us, and then we can chat a little bit. Oh, well, could the, do that. What's the first song you're going to do? Oh, my goodness me. Well, here's a, here's a tune that's lurking on side 19 of... No, I jest. Arf, arf. Uh, here's a song that's on... Uh, the album Oranges and Lemons and funny enough it goes absolutely nothing like this it's the Scarecrow people yeah. <laughs> go for it two three four hope you enjoyed your flight in one of our new straw aeroplanes you'll find things here are just like what you used to There's lots of waste and razor wire And no one gives a damn about the land We just stand around and stare like you folks do For we ain't got no brains And we ain't got no hearts It's just that wild old wind that tells us all apart We're the scarecrow people Hey, we got lots in common Some chemicals thought that you'd prefer something not nature made. Now, while you're here, can you advise us on a war we'd love to start against some scarecrows? All but they're a different shade. For we ain't got no brains and we ain't got no hearts. It's just that wild wind that tells us. We're the scarecrow people. Hey, yeah, we got lots in common with you. And if you don't start living well, you're all gonna wind up scarecrow people. Tell, listen, we don't have no tears here. No one hopes or cares or fears here for the old, the sick, the poor, and them wise. There's no need to rise above here No one wants to write that book or try to paint thee We thought we'd best our civilization upon yours Cause we're all dead from our necks up Now we, we And we ain't got no brains and we ain't it's just that wild wind that tears us all apart 
I mean, much more so than I'm really, um, I'm really enthralled here. Tell me a little bit you. about what. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you can't even sit down because you moved the chair. You silly. That's why I got my ass jammed against the wall, and I'm, <laughs> I'm going. I do that to people. I don't know why. Uh, tell me a little bit about um, when you go in to record. Uh, what the process is, because there's a, such a distinctive XTC sound, and I'd like to know a little bit about how you guys get to it. Oh. Disclose our secrets here on the air. <laughs> yes, well, right. uh, Trade secrets coming out. No, I'll out. tell you what, lie to the people, they won't know the difference. Uh, well, the truth is, there is no secret. It's just the three of us, uh, our three donkey-esque personalities. Uh, we sit around, the band is fueled by copi copious cups of tea and coffee, and uh, we thrash the songs out pretty much you know like you're hearing them now they get worked up uh, usually on like acoustic guitars and then yeah i can them. see you guys sitting on a porch or something like that doing this with the three of you <laughs> you must have no neighbors no i don't have porches in swindon you just uh, have, I see. Uh, <laughs> can't afford them uh no the, the band's fueled by copious cups of tea and we just bash through the songs until we like the feel of them and then uh get in the studio and try and capture that in some way. I mean, there is no secret. The secret there is there isn't one. Uh, well, and also it is just, you know, the fabulous ways that you guys, that somehow whatever it is, it meshes between you. Because it does have a certain sound that uh, is so recognizable. Um, I was wondering, how do you pick a producer? Or do you? Uh, sometimes we do. Sometimes they kind of find us out. Uh, like, for example, Paul Fox, the, uh, the chap who produced Oranges and Lemons, this new album. He really came to us through uh, Virgin, you know, kind of laid the usual thing on, who do you want to produce the album? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not like we, we don't have a, like a list of people, oh, I'd love to work with no, them, I'd love I, I to think, work I with think them. more so it's like, you know, the qualifications that you look for in a producer. What are some of the qualities that you look for in a producer? Well, we used to go for engineer producers, producers that have come up through, you know, how to set the microphones up and twiddling, twiddling with knobs. They knew blah, the whole blah. thing from the bottom right, up, right? But these days we tend to gravitate towards musical producers who, uh, you know, if I say to him, uh, I'm in a quandary, should it be this chord or, you know, I want them mm -hmm. to tell me, uh, I want them to have an input and tell me, no, I think that second chord is darker, it goes more in the mood with that part of the song, blah, blah. You know, engineer producers frequently can't do that. Yeah, isn't it strange how the technical and, and uh, I guess whatever it is, the talent side of it, don't, don't mix that often. That's right, but then again, you get the musical ones and they don't know how the hell to set a microphone up or what button to touch on the desk. Well, you should know that by now. You've been doing it long enough, guys. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can, I've learned to count them. That's uh, all the buttons. I'm going to do a couple of uh, messages here and then we're going to be back with another tune from XTC live on KROQ. Uh -huh. Now, I have to also remember to take your microphone off when we start talking in the studio. This is Dusty on KROQ and XTC. XTC is in the yes, booth with me. With their booth, acoustic... It really is a booth. It's yeah. like a little sex booth, this well, place. Oh, I like the way so you say <laughs> that, Andy. Good. Oh, you can Good. cut out the word booth if you like. Ah. Uh <laughs> I see your flowers wilting, so... Like, I am, I'm really wilting. We did this, this uh, what they call an in-store appearance today. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, when you meet and and sort of fall in love with one and a half thousand people, it sort of takes <laughs> takes it out of you a bit, you know, in one afternoon. Meet yeah. and fall in love with them. Well, like you know, you've got, you got to love them. I, I, I love them all, because if it weren't for them folks, it would be pointless making records. Absolutely. Um, although tiring, it is beneficial. We're going to have another song from you, and it... Will yeah, be, yeah, and it will do. be. Well, look, here's the, the the Queen's own band of the Mass Donovans version. <laughs> <laughs> of, and if you could see us sat here, the, the three John Denvers. Uh, oh no, please don't ruin it for me, man. Whoa, a little bit out of tune. Here you go. I'm bound to mess up the lyrics, so if you know the missing line, write in, ring in immediately, or make up your own. Right. Never been near a university Never took a paper or a learned degree Some of your friends think that's stupid of me But it's nothing that I care about Well, I don't know how to tell the way to the sun And of math or magic's what I want done And I may be the Cold and old thinking it's done You'll be warm in the arms of the mayor of Simpleton I can't have been there when brands were handed around Please be upstanding for the mayor of Simpleton Oh, 
get past the cover of your books profound. Please be upstanding for the mayor of Simpleton. Some of your friends think that's really unsound, that you're even seen talking to me. Well, I don't know how to run a big hit song, and I'll cross word puzzles when I just shun. And I may be the mayor of Simpleton, but I know. A treat. Tell me a little bit about how uh um, you tune this guitar can, up. That's, <laughs> that's if okay. anyone's got a perfect E, will you ring in and sing it now? E. Now, if I had a perfect E, I wouldn't need this job, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, what is one of the things that, that you think really keeps this band together? Because the longevity in rock and roll is such a rare thing. Whew, we're addicted to making records. Totally addicted. It's the only uh it's the only drug that we uh, we do. We're totally addicted to, to getting in that studio, making records, and I can't explain it. It's now so firmly under the skin that uh, we can't stop. And that brings me to another point. It's like each record that you do has so much difference in it. What what is what is different about this record than your last one? And how do you and how do you make that difference? Oh, goodness. What, what is different about what it? Is, what is different about it? I mean, it is, obviously it must get better every time you go in the studio. Oh, yeah. You know, because things get easier, like, you know, certain, whatever problem that you had uh, with one album is obviously solved by the sure. next one, and then a, another one would crop out. But what, what was, about this album was this different? This album was put together, uh, played, um, just everything about it. We were in, a, I think, a really positive state of mind. And I think the, this album is made with verve, which is kind of down on the last couple of albums, the verve level, the verve control. It's <laughs> only at level. number three, you know. Mm -hmm. And this one, the verve control's right up there. Uh, I mean, that was the reason why it was called Oranges and Lemons. It is played, uh, I don't know what the, uh, the, the Italian term you put on music is, but, you know, it's played briskly and brightly. And really, our state of mind, I mean, we were wait making an album that we knew the public out there was actually waiting to hear. Mm -hmm. It's the first time in our history we've ever done that uh, because we just don't sell enough records. And we were kind of running, we've been running on empty now for, uh, you know, 12 years. And then suddenly we get the, the idea that the, the public is waiting to hear this record because Skylarking did so well for us. And it, it just, ch the, the state of mind was, was great, you know, because... Uh, just made you want to get in there and kind of crank that thing up and go, yay, you know. And how has uh, the technology advancement that they have in, in the recording studio helped or hindered uh, what you'd like to do in the studio? Because obviously if you've got a lot of equipment, people have a tendency to want to use it, whether they need <coughs> to or not. Well, 
Machines, we, mach sorry. We on. do tend to fill up all the available tracks on the tape machine. That's the one problem. I talk into the microphone, oh, honey, buddy. No, oh, give it, one turn one that one. You talk into that one. That's your very own right there. Yes. I was just going to make the point that uh, the more tracks you have in the studio, the, the bigger the temptation to fill them up is. So uh, with this album, we were using two 24-track machines. So ah. 48 tracks to, to mess about with. And uh, pretty much all of them were used up. So there's an awful lot going on. Mm -hmm. And it becomes very difficult actually editing out the stuff, uh, you know, when you come to mix the thing. Uh -huh. You know, the decision-making process is... Uh, Makes it tougher. Some ways, uh, technology makes things tougher. Yeah. The thing about technology is it's only machines, and machines are only any good when they're in the service of man. They're not any good as machines. You can't just poke them and say, be wonderful for me, machine, because it won't. It and only gives too, back what you put into exactly, it, right? Exactly, and too yeah. many people are, are, you know, just click that on button... Yep. and push that drum machine on, push that sequencer on, touch that synthesizer patch, and they think it's going to, uh, you know, they think it's called art. It's not. <laughs> it's called turning a machine on, so let's get it right. You only get out of that machine at the other end what you put in. Yay! It is KROQFM, Pasadena, Los Angeles, Rock of the 90s Street on the Rock with XTC playing live in the studio. And, uh, gentlemen, can we have another song from you? Well, I have about, uh, ooh, some oldies but moldings. I love it. Rotten. Do it to me, darling. <laughs> Do it to me. Well, I can remember, oh, way back when, when men were men and a few women were too. And Margie Thatcher wasn't there. That's right. When men were men and so was Maggie. <laughs> this, this kind of thing was running rampant around the world. I expect you had a few wax cylinders that... Uh, Wonderful Colin Molding actually building a guitar next to me here. He's tapping away. <laughs> One hopes he's going to get it finished by the end of the first verse. You never know. Here we go. Oh, yes, I must point out that the, uh, the first verse of this song is totally erroneous. It seems to hint at uh, the fact that there's dairy produce whirling around in the upper atmosphere. It's completely wrong. So here we go. Hey, hey, the clouds away. The straw for the donkeys and the innocents can all sleep safely. All sleep safely. My, my, sun is by. There's fodder for the cannons and the guilty ones can all sleep safely. All sleep safely.
Be a rich man if I could But the only job I do well is here on the phone On the phone And it's breaking my Remind, remind me never Ooh. to buy these stay in tune strings. Anyway. Oh, oh, yeah, do From they make Mel stay in tune center? Oh, yes. Yeah, so, do, don't you love the lies that they tell you? What What are your favorite instruments to play? Is it when uh, usually in tune ones? And in tune ones, yeah, that goes for obvious. I mean, I, I the acoustic sound is so brilliant. Uh, uh, is it just so so different that it doesn't matter, or do you have do you prefer? It's whatever electric? whatever the song dictates. You know, if the song says. Hey, acoustic guitar on this one, please. Mm. Do it, you, know. um, it, uh, you mean, why are we playing acoustics right now? No, because oh. yeah, we can't have the band in here, that's why. Well, sure. No. But also... No, I mean, no, but I, I, I do wonder why, uh, or if you have ever performed for people in this fashion. As you uh, are now with, with, three, with three acoustics, yeah. Uh, no, not really. Uh, we thought we'd try this kind of thing out. I rather like the honesty of three acoustic guitars and, you know, no... Uh, no smoke bombs, no yeah. flashes, or... Love and Rockets whistles. is about the only other band that I know that actually brings out acoustic guitars. Well, well maybe with the exception of Lou Reed. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and well, it's, I like the it's so great honesty. to hear it because, you know, it's like, I'm one of these old people that used to hang out when <laughs> only, you know, acoustics, when the fine-tuning of it. But it, it, the attitude that, that you approach an electric according to a, an acoustic is, like, I guess, what I'm trying to get at. Is it, does, how does that change in your mind? Because the harmonics of the strings are obviously different. The sound is different. Well, you just have to think smaller. I mean, you can get swept up. For an electric up, or for... Uh, for an acoustic. You can get swept up in the sound of an electric guitar. It can lift you up. You know, you can get quite dizzy. Actually, you can get away with murder on it. <laughs> you can get away with murder. <laughs> yeah, the acoustic one says, there's the bum note. Yeah. And with the electric one, it just goes, woo! You know, you can get away you with always, loads. You can always think it as just being feedback, right? Um, can we do one more song, guys? <coughs> well, we'll do a couple. Of, we'll, uh, we'll check our tuning. I'll tell you what. Why don't you check your you tuning? You do a commercial. We'll, we'll check our get, tuning. Do a, do a commercial. I didn't even We've get one ready. We've got loads of ready. songs to play. Yeah. We're not leaving now. Uh, okay, but wait a minute. While I get these commercials together, I just want to ask one more question, and that is, um, do you, have you recorded, or actually, have you released all of the songs that you have written and recorded, or are there things still in the can that have not been uh, released yet? Not recorded things, but we've got lots of written songs that were only demoed and never recorded. And, uh, and also, how do you decide you on what you... You play one, if you like. I would love it. I'd well, you, say, you put commercial on, I'll tune up and we'll play you. Oh, see, that's what I was getting at. Sneaky, aren't I? Oh. And uh, we are here live in the studio with XTC as they are tuning up. I guess I could really say that it's my fault, guys, because uh, I was the one that asked the question if they have a song that they haven't uh, put out on a record yet. And, of course, he said yes, and, of course... Now, is, what is in the uh, words of Stevie Wonder, what key, what key? <laughs> <laughs> Stevie Wonder's favorite color, corduroy. Oh. Arf, arf. <laughs> <laughs> and XTC Live on the Rock, and what's the uh, title of this song for us? Well, the, the title at the moment is a very long intro, which is called Colin Getting His Act Together, Slowly But Surely. And uh, the fabulously hairy Colin, folks. Yes, win a night of illicit sex with Colin. Fabulously well in all, <laughs> all you have to do... Oh, really? Is... I thought he borrowed his hair from Don King, the promote, you know, the boxing promoter. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Don oh, King dear. shortened a few pubes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how are you doing there, Cole? Hey, you know what? That's close enough for rock and roll. Oh, I, I knew you would say that. 
That'll do, right. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <whistles> okay, yeah, well, look, here's a tune uh, we never got round to recording, and uh, when you hear this, you'll know why. Uh, it's, it's, called, <laughs> it's called Blue Beret. Here we go. Life is sometimes shorter than you think. So take yourself a hike from the kitchen sink. For me, I like to roam. Wasn't built in a day. And night throws the stars in our way. Meanwhile, on planet Earth, some people are dying for the some right to people. say. Get your hats off, come on, get your hats off, yeah, 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 get your hats off, Woo. get your hats off to the blueberry, 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 the wind just took it off his head and sent it spinning straight to nowhere, no. Life is sometimes sentence for the crime, especially if you're guilty of killing time. Me, I like to think while you other fish swim, but sharks make their meal out of him. Meanwhile, on bone dry land, some people are dying for the some right to. Get your hands off, yeah, yeah. Get your hands off. your wife put down that knife watch out the windows and blow your hats away oh i love that that's wonderful that's so what so what makes the decision as to what makes the decision when cash so what's, i know what you're gonna say it's cash it's cash no but it's i mean when you, put, when you put down an album i mean what? How do you decide what songs are going to go on? What? Why that one isn't on is beyond me. But well, we didn't have that problem with, with this album because we put everything on this uh, record. So we oh, just... is that? I thought you put everything on the on the Senses Working Overtime album. I mean, it's like I kept looking at it; it kept going on and on and on. Um, oh, we could have got on longer actually. But so, how, how did you? So, what well, was the first double album set you'd done? That's what I mean. Andy was looking very strange at me. Uh, uh, well, no, it's English Salmon. Actually, we do have some leftovers. I mean, that was one of them. And because the occasionally. To never get on there it was just like time. Time equals cash equals uh, you know. Because I, I think occasionally and, and maybe particularly back some time ago when I get because I do an import show and I get records, it seems that there's tunes that are on English records that are not on on American released albums. Oh yeah, that's some I don't know whose bizarre workings they are. But so, so when you do the album, the when you do the album, what makes the decision as to what tunes you're going to do? Uh, well, we usually sit around with, uh, you know, like a dartboard and a set of darts. No, it's, it's, it's kind of, <laughs> hopefully you, you write... Like our production You write too much material, and then, you know, hopefully all the cream comes to the top, and you just scrape that off. So the more milk you have, the more cream you're going to have. Well, I think Can so. we do some more? Yeah, I, I was going to say, if you would please play some more, I would Couple be thrilled. More songs? Absolutely. Oh, sweetheart. right. Okay, get your matches out at home, and you can join in on this one. Uh, who remembers such things as... I'm 
I imagine it's in June. Great fire burning, you supplied the spark, fire's burning, spreading through the arc, and animals are panicking.
Oh, guys, thank you so much. I mean, I haven't ever in my entire career had my headphones on this long, and all I can see is my ears are sweating. <laughs> I'll lick them out for you later. Oh, darling, please. <laughs> um, at any rate, I've, the last thing in the world I want to do is kick you guys out of here. Do you feel like doing one more song? But I do have to do my import show eventually. I'll, t- I'll tell you what, you do a really quick idea. I put a, some sort of sex device on the guitar called a capo. Ah, uh, yes, I and, remember uh, those. <laughs> but they sell them at the pleasure chest for something else. At any rate, yeah, we'll do that and we'll be back with XTC in a moment. All right, here we are back live in the studio with XTC on KROQ. And the gentlemen have been uh, kind enough to grant us a song or two more. Andy, tell us what we're going to hear. Well, I'm going to hand you over to the uh, wonderfully bountiful Colin, our hostess for this evening. And highly vocal, too, I might add. Oh, yes, yes, where is he? Yes, this is called King for a Day, folks. So if you're out there, tune in. There we go. One, two, one, two, three... I've got to say, this is the most pleasant hour I've ever spent at K Rock. It's brilliant of you to come up. Oh, shut If this was color radio, you could see us blushing. No, actually, I got to tell you, it was really nice because I haven't had to do jack anything <laughs> for the last <laughs> hour. <laughs> Just throw uh, another compact disc on the barbecue. Yeah, I'll throw another bar- <laughs> disc on the barbecue. Well, I do have the uh, Wire album coming up, but I know you have one more song, and you, I, I see this look in your eye. <laughs> this man does not want yeah, to leave the studio. Don't do that to me. No, I know, I know, I know. Actually, it's we're going to get ourselves in trouble. If we well, if you, if you can play a commercial, we'll play more. No, I'm not going to play a commercial. Of course, I've got a commercial. Okay, one more song after this commercial. 
Yes? I could do. We Have we got any more? I don't know. We got any more. I don't think we've got any more, folks. <laughs> oh, well, then forget it. That's it. <laughs> if you haven't got any more, that's it. No, I'm, are we being serious or what? Here. Uh, yeah, Can we I might say goodbye have, to you or what? We might have another one. What have we got? Uh, we could do a, a, a smattering of things from Oranges and Lemons, maybe. Oh, yeah, you should have seen the look on his face. I'll tell you what, while we discuss this, because I don't think there's three uh, opinions here that are similar, we'll do a couple of commercials, and then we either will or will not be back with XTC Live, and uh, we will do the new Wire album right after they either do or don't do this next song. I like Wire. <laughs> Somebody is real tired once He's, he's going to go home, sit man. with his head next to my guitar. Yeah, That's why he likes no, Wire. Yeah, right. No, he's, this, this man is going, get me out of here. I need to get back. This is... Damn, son. <laughs> it's, this life is too hard for me, man. At any rate, one more song. They keep claiming that they don't have any more songs, but we know better than this. Wire on KROQ, and uh, uh, just go for it, guys. We don't have to explain anything. Okay, this is uh, kind of semi-rehearsed, so uh, you, know, you can imagine. Yeah, they it, rehearsed it, it while been. his commercials were on. <laughs> Here we go. After you, Senor Gregory. I wish I could play that bit. That's why you got the twiddly bits.
them tunes. Yeah, no, I got to say, man, for something you just pulled together, it was brilliant. XTC live on the rock. I can't tell you, gentlemen, how very thrilled I am. And now I'm spoiled. <laughs> now I'm spoiled. So I just you have no alternative but to come back someday. All right. You're All right. On. You're on. And great new album. We love it to death. Is there a chance of seeing you live and in person in L.A. at oh. any point in the future? Well, you never know. It used to be no, but, you know, I, I didn't think, a couple of years back, I didn't think we could even do anything kind of as daft as this, so you never know. Well, I'll tell you what, man. It's not turn into capital, maybe. Let, let's put it this way. You play, and we won't raise the curtain, so you don't have to see the audience. How's yeah, that? Yeah, Please stay at home. I'll come and play in their living room, you know. Guys, thanks so much again. Coming up after this, I can't, you know... We love you very much. Thank you. After this uh, brief massage, we will uh, do the import show. And poor man, you can be late tonight because I'm definitely not going to cut this one short. The opinions expressed on KROQFM are not necessarily those of anyone here, their staff, or the gods on Mount Olympus.